Hello, Leo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 11th of September. Venus, the planet of love, but also of attraction, continues to make her way through your zodiac sign. She's forging some gorgeous links to three different planets this week, and the first, to Saturn, is a very stabilising link. If there is someone in your life that you're very fond of and you feel very comfortable with, this relationship can develop more foundations this week on the back of this particular angle. But also, Venus is forging a beautiful link to Jupiter, and there can be some playful and light moments. This is very much a, a feel-good factor type of influence. But by the end of the week, Venus is also connecting to Uranus, the planet of surprises. And it's just a bit of a prod that if you're in a long-standing relationship, to try to keep things fresh, you may have to try to reinvigorate things in, in, a, in a way, perhaps by spending quality time with one another, perhaps putting other commitments to one side, or perhaps just being a bit more spontaneous, especially if things have become very patterned around the more everyday aspects of life. Now, Uranus and Jupiter continue their opposition, so... I do feel that you're probably processing quite a lot of ideas and thinking about life in a more enlightened way. It's possible that the way you had been for some time is being transformed, particularly since the uh, 6th of May, and it's been revitalised in July and also in August by those wonderful lunations in Leo. So finding a fresh way to be is certainly been part of what's been going on for you, and this opposition between Jupiter and Uranus could challenge you in some ways about some of your ideas. So ideas that we learn when we're very young may not necessarily be a, a, a regular fit for the changing and the fast-changing world that we live in. So this really challenges perhaps the more conservative side of your nature. However, Mercury, the planet of communication, moved out of your sign back into Virgo, uh, at the end of last week, and that's going to be combining with Mars this week. So if you are wanting to think about the ways you can improve your cash flow, be a bit more entrepreneurial, and a bit more savvy about how you spend and also receive money, that's a very helpful combination. But ironically, the Sun, also in Virgo, is clashing with Saturn. So if you do try to open the purse strings up a little bit, splash out on anything that's more frivolous, I don't necessarily think that will make you feel very comfortable, and you could end up with a clear case of buyer's remorse. So if you are going to make any purchases this week, I do think they need to be very grounded and, and have some kind of uh, value that can make your life more comfortable. If it's things that you don't really need, I would try to really be much more economical in your approach. But this is a week, without doubt, when your sex appeal is going to be running very high. And there's also a side of you that's very earthy, which in itself can be very attractive. So watch out for the extra attention you get. It may come about in very ordinary ways or ordinary settings, but you are giving out a quite magical vibe. And that's going to see your popularity and natural star potential really sparkle. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three-card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.